it's Cindy Michelle here and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is Friday. It is officially the end of the week. Completed my first week back at school. It actually wasn't too bad this week. We, Although we learned a lot, it wasn't overwhelming per se. But today is Friday and it's also St. Patrick's Day. And apparently they do it big here in St. Louis. So... Last year we didn't go, me and my friends didn't go celebrate, but this year we decided that we just gonna go check it out. So we got out of class pretty early today. We had like a learning check this morning and it only took a couple hours, uh, like an hour or so to complete. So I've been out of class since like 9.40. So I went to the gym, came back from the gym, got some Chipotle, and then I had a meeting that I had to go to that will, I will actually talk about tomorrow because it's pretty big for me, honestly. So I'm gonna explain it tomorrow, but oh gosh, y'all do not drive and film at the same time. It's not safe. But yeah, so I just came from my meeting and I'll give y'all some insight on that tomorrow. But right now I'm on my way home to go change. And I'm going to meet back up with my friends so that we can go figure out where we're going to go to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Although none of us are Irish, <laughs> but it's just an excuse to do some day drinking, honestly. But yeah, I will see y'all soon. Oh my God, look at this. It's not that I want you So it's the next day now. I did not record anymore after the last clip that you saw when we were at one of those restaurants down in Dogtown. Um, yesterday was fun. I was not expecting to be that turned up on a Friday. Well, you see how much I go out. But yeah, so I was not expecting to be that lit yesterday. But after the place that we were at shut down, they shut down at like six o'clock. We went to, me and CJ ended up going to one of our classmates' house for about an hour. And we just kicked it, was talking to all our classmates and stuff. So, oh, I don't even know if I told y'all that those people in the, that I was recording, most of them were my classmates. So it ended up being a whole bunch of them there. We didn't even know that they were gonna be there, so. It was pretty cool linking up with people outside of the classroom. So then after we left our classmates' house, me and CJ went to go get some food. Y'all, we went to this place called Sauce on the Side. I've, I've seen it around here in Missouri and I've never actually gone, but they specialize in calzones. And when I tell y'all that that was one of the best meals I've had here in St. Louis since I like moved here and I was just shook. It was so good. I got the meet me in St. Louis calzone and it had sausage, pepperoni, cheese, all types of cheeses, garlic and some other stuff inside of it. And it was huge. It was like half of a pizza. I think it was like 10 or $12. I don't remember, but it was so good. I ate the whole thing yesterday because I was starving. 
So that's how I ended my night. I actually ended my night eating my calzone and watching my old YouTube videos and just reminiscing. So I kind of was sad, but um, it was cool. Yesterday was cool. So now, um, so right now it is, it's 3.44 right now. And I just got back from Target and the grocery store. I needed to get some soil for my new plant that I'm trying to plant. I'll show y'all what I'm trying to plant. I prop, I think it's propagated. I think that's the proper terminology for it. But I basically cut off leaves from my one of my plants that I have already and just sat it in water and let the roots grow. I did that back in December. So I left it here while I was gone December through beginning of March and I came back and the water in the bottle wasn't even like halfway gone yet but I have so many roots now in the bottle so it's time to plant it now I also think I'm gonna replant this plant right here because this has been in this pot for a very long time and the pot is getting kind of dirty now that's the pot I bought it in and I think I bought it like over two years ago so I think I'm going to change that out because I have two free pots from two plants that died on me last year when I went down to Dallas and it was enough sunlight in the apart or the house that we stayed in so they died and it was too hot down there honestly so yeah that's what I'm about to do I might just show you all that while I'm doing it and then I have to go to this social event for this organization that I'm a part of called NABPT. I actually haven't told y'all or updated y'all on NABPT at all, but NABPT stands for National Association for Black Physical Therapists. And last semester, me and six other classmates and one of our professors um, established a Missouri chapter of NABBT because they didn't have one. So I'm actually the president of the Missouri chapter of NABPT. And basically just to give a little rundown of what it is, it's basically an organization that uplifts the black community in the profession of physical therapy um, through like networking, community service events, um, scholarships, things of that nature. They have scholarships available for prospective PT students, PT students, um, PTs, and they also um, accept PTAs as well. So if you're interested in that and you're part of the Black community, uh, I would definitely go and check out NABPT.org. And if you're in Missouri watching this video, uh, you can also reach out to us to join our chapter just email us. I'll put the email down here, but it's nabpt.mo at gmail.com. And you can also follow us on Instagram at nabpt underscore mo. I believe it's the underscore. I'll check. But yes, so we're having our first social event today at Armory STL, which is like a, like a play and eat type of place um, here in St. Louis. So... That should be fun. I'm super excited for this to be our first social event. This chapter has come a long way. It's been a journey trying to establish the chapter. We started it back in like October, like we initiated it in October and we were officially established in January. So exciting things, other things that went on behind the scenes as well during my hiatus from YouTube. So and when I tell y'all, I have a lot of stuff on my plate. That is why y'all have not seen me. But you see, I am trying. I'm trying more now. Came to this realization last night when I was watching my old videos. I'm like, this not only benefits other people for entertainment and educational purposes, but it's also like my own personal video journal that I can go back and watch 10, 20 years from now. Who knows what YouTube will look like in 20 years, but it's just really cool. And it's a great reminder as to why I even started this channel and the benefits of having a YouTube channel as well, going through such monumental times of life. So it's cool. I'm off my soapbox now. Let's get to replanting these plants. Okay, so this is the bottle that I was talking about. 
I actually took one of my plants. It was either that one or the one that I showed y'all. But I just put it in this water bottle and now like you can see all the roots in here. So I need to plant this now so that I can just take it out this bottle. I also want to propagate my aloe vera plant, but I'm also not sure how to do that yet. I'm going to have to Google it to see if it's like the same steps as this. But yeah, let's do it. I also forgot at Target, I found these little pots, even though I didn't need any more pots. I just thought these were so cute because they're so small and they were only $3 for a pack of two. So I thought that was a good deal. And then I found this in like the five and under section um, in Target. And I thought this was cute. I also don't need any more mugs, but I'm a mug hog and I love this one. So cute. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me would you? Well baby I've been around the world but I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart. But there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my baby. Girl, you amaze me, and gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. Now if I wrote you a love note And made you smile at every word I wrote What would you do? Would that make you want to change your scene? On the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away. And the love of a woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away. And the love of a woman that can take your spot, my love. Okay, so I'm done repotting. So I repotted this one. Then I put the ones that I propagated in separate pots because I had two different ones. So this is one of them. And the other one is right here. And then I had an extra little piece of leaves hanging. So I just put it in the new pot that I bought. And I ended up just watering all of my plants. I tried to get this one out, but it was honestly too hard of a task. Because I wanted to put new soil in it, but it was just too hard. So I just put soil on the top. <laughs> and <laughs> I hope it just reaps the benefits of putting it on top and not all throughout. Because this one has gotten so big. I'll show you guys. I'll insert a picture of what it looked like when I first bought it. And you're going to be like, oh my gosh. Because I bought this plant junior year of undergrad so what was that like 2019 so yeah it's grown a lot 
If you guys have any tips on how to propagate this, please let me know. I would love to like kind of separate some of these because you can see it's like so many different like pods that have grown inside of here that aren't even connected. So I'm like trying to separate them a little bit because it's getting a little bit too big for this pot. Hey y'all, so we just made it to Armory. One, I did not know it was this huge. Two, it is so many people here. Like, look at all these cars packed. But Janae's been here before. So she said it's always like this, but we shall see how our first social event goes. to end this video here uh we had a good turnout for our first social event for nabpt uh thank you for everybody that came out and it was a lot of fun the it, i just felt like a big kid honestly uh especially on that seesaw but it was really fun food was and eh, very basic very mid but it's okay we didn't come there for the food we just came for a good time and just come together at, for our first social event as an official chapter. So yeah, I'm gonna end this here. I'm about to get in the bed. I'm tired and tomorrow's a long day. Gotta do errands, you know. Sunday is always like reset day for the next week. So tomorrow's gonna be busy. I might go to the gym in the morning, but we will see how I feel. So yeah. As always, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.